Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So, um, uh, we have seen in the last lecture um, how to construct the universal covering for a given uh, topological space and now we go back to uh, looking at uh, uh, coverings of Riemann surfaces. So, um, uh, see so far whatever I have discussed about the coverings of a space they were all in the topological category ok. So, uh, the maps invo involved were just continuous and therefore, and also the uh, the isomorphisms that were involved were all homeomorphisms, the, they are isomorphisms in the topological category. I just want to say that uh, uh, all these things will now go on into the domain of uh, uh, the holomorphic category ok. So, um, so what I am going to do basically in this lecture is try to explain uh, the holomorphic theory of coverings ok, the theory of holomorphic coverings right. So, uh, what I do is uh, uh, I start with the covering with the covering um, x tilde to x ok. So, this is a uh, uh, so uh, of course, uh, when I say covering I mean topological covering ok, topological right. Now, I am going to look at the situation when this uh, the base of the cover ok has uh, the structure of a Riemann surface ok. So, suppose suppose uh, x has a Riemann surface structure uh, which I which let me let me call it as x sub hole ok. So, uh, x is the topological space, but x sub hole is this topological space endowed with the Riemann surface structure which means which means you know what it means. It means every point of x uh, is given a coordinate chart ok, it is given a chart that is a neighborhood which is homeomorphic to an open subset of the complex plane ok and uh, all these charts uh, any two such charts that intersect are compatible namely the transition functions are holomorphic. And uh, of course, when I take the Riemann surface corresponding to this, I mean uh, I take I include all possible compatible charts. So, I take the maximal atlas ok. So, that is what I denote by x sub hole all right. Now, uh, what I am going to um, uh, explain is that this x tilde naturally gets a again a holomorphic structure ok and makes a, this into a Riemann surface and this map becomes holomorphic ok. All this happens very naturally just because uh, p is a local homeomorphism ok. So, um, so now what I am going to do is I am going to try to give charts uh, uh, on x tilde. So, uh, we, we make x tilde into a Riemann surface uh, x sub hole x tilde sub hole uh, as follows. So, um, what I am going to do is so again let me draw a diagram. So, you see I have uh, I have uh, x tilde here uh, and uh, I have x this is p and here is my uh, here is my x and well uh, I take a point uh, uh, take a point of x tilde uh, small x tilde ok. Then uh, you know pretty well that uh, if I take the image of this point below and suppose I call it as x. So, p of x tilde p of x tilde small x tilde is small x. Then you know that because this is a covering ok. Uh, in fact, I do not even need its covering, but anyway it is a covering. Uh, I can find uh, a neighborhood 
an admissible neighborhood for x. So, if I call that admissible neighborhood as u okay uh, then uh, it is inverse image the inverse image of this admissible neighborhood under p will give you uh, several copies of this neighborhood <coughs> above and exactly one of them will contain x okay. So, what I will get is I will get I will get uh, a u tilde which is uh, 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 one of these copies okay. So, for this I need not even have taken a admissible neighborhood below in fact even if I knew that this is not a covering but if I knew only that it is a local homeomorphism I can always take an open set above which is uh, going to be mapped homeomorphically onto its image below which is an open set by this map p okay. So, uh, I can do I am saying that I can do this even if p is a local homeomorphism okay. So, in any case uh, we can choose uh, choose uh, 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 an open neighborhood uh, open set u tilde containing x such that that uh, p restricted to u tilde from u tilde to p of u tilde which is u is a homeomorphism okay I can do this I can do this even if uh, p was just a local homeomorphism uh, at the point x tilde okay and now you see the uh, uh, the space below uh, x has a Riemann surface structure okay. So, uh, let me let me write this as x sub hole okay let me write this as x sub hole uh, uh, just to tell you that uh, there is a Riemann surface structure below. So, that means at every point there is a chart that is a coordinate chart. So, what happens is that I can find so there is an open neighborhood of this point uh, let me call that as v okay I have an open neighborhood of this point and I have a chart namely a function from this into uh, uh, a phi uh, which is uh, which goes into phi of v uh, which is an open subset uh, um, of the complex plane and uh, uh, phi is a homeomorphism okay. So, this is a this is just the chart uh, at the point x because uh, the space below uh, has a Riemann surface structure there is a chart given at, e at each point I am taking a chart v comma phi okay uh, which contains the point x all right. So, take take a chart uh, v comma phi uh, such that small x belongs to v uh, where small x is the image of x tilde okay. Now, you see if I look at if I look at this intersection uh, this this intersection okay. So, uh, let me shade it and this point is uh, x okay this shaded region is uh, v uh, intersect u okay. If I take this v intersect u uh, and uh, I if I take its inverse image under p restricted to u tilde what I am going to get is I am going to get again here I am going to get uh, uh, a shaded region here okay and of course uh, uh, my point x tilde will be here okay and uh, from u tilde to u is a it is a local homeom it is a homeomorphism p restricted uh, p restricted u tilde. So, restricted to this shaded portion to this shaded portion will also be a homeomorphism all right and if you come back if you combine that with this phi I will get a chart uh, in this neighborhood for uh, the space above at the point x tilde okay. So, uh, uh, then so you know how do I write that set, set theoretically I just uh, I just take uh, first of all the intersection of v and u which is the shaded, shaded portion here v intersection u. Then what I do is uh, 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 I take its inverse image under p restricted to u tilde mind you I can write inverse because p restricted to u tilde is a homeomorphism. So, I can write the inverse okay. So, that gives me this shaded region okay that is that is an open set containing x small, small x tilde okay and I have to and I and the map I take is p 
followed by phi ok. So, p followed by phi this of course p followed by uh, when I say p followed by phi that restricted to this shaded region of course ok. Then this becomes a chart at x tilde because it is uh, this is a homeomorphism followed by another homeomorphism ok. So, it is a homeomorphism into again into an open subset of uh, the complex plane. So, it is a chart ok. So, basically what I am doing is uh, I am I am pulling back charts from below I am just pulling back charts from below all right ok. So, then this is a chart uh, for uh, uh, at x tilde ok. Now, uh, it is it is kind of pretty uh, uh, clear that all charts of this type uh, they are going to be compatible ok uh, and, the, and the reason is that the uh, if you write it out the the transition functions are going to be actually the transition functions for the charts below ok. So, uh, and once we know that then you know that uh, x tilde has a Riemann surface structure ok uh, which is what I am going to call as x tilde sub hole ok. So, let me write this down. Um, so, well uh, two such charts uh, so instead of doing that let me let me uh, if we if we had chosen another chart p prime comma phi prime uh, at x ok instead of v comma phi suppose I chose another chart ok. Then, then uh, uh, the transition function uh, function uh, for the pair the pair uh, this chart namely uh, so so this chart uh, uh, so p restricted to u tilde well inverse v intersection u um, um, uh, comma uh, phi circle p and uh, uh, a similar thing that you will get with uh, by pulling back the chart v prime comma phi prime phi prime comma p is what is the transition function the transition function is just uh, this followed by that inverse ok or that followed by this inverse ok. So, uh, if you give me a pair of charts there are two transition functions ok uh, they are going to be both uh, you know homeomorphisms and the condition for compatibility is that these should be actually holomorphic that is your condition ok. When do we say two charts are compatible ok we say two charts are compatible whenever if whenever they intersect ok that intersecting open set is mapped by both of these map uh, chart maps to different domains onto the complex plane and then the map from this to one of these domains into the other ok which is given by taking inverse of the map corresponding to one chart followed by the map corresponding to the other chart you want that not only that will of course be a homeomorphism you want that to be holomorphic that is the condition for compatibility of charts ok. So, what will happen is in this case the transition function will be phi circle p uh, well uh, uh, the inverse of one followed by uh, uh, the uh, by the other or of course of course you know or its inverse or its inverse ok depending on which order you take it in all right. But what is this 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 is just you know if you write it down it is phi circle p circle p inverse circle phi prime inverse. So, you will simply get phi circle phi prime inverse ok, but what is this this is a transition function for uh, these two charts the pair v comma phi and v prime comma phi and that is holomorphic because they are compatible because they define a Riemann sur surface structure below. Therefore, you see the the way that you have given the charts automatically they will be compatible ok and you will get a uh, holomorphic structure Riemann surface structure on x tilde ok. Why it will still be a surface is because you see it is a local homeomorphism ok. So, uh, dimension is not going to change ok locally they are isomorphic. So, this if this is a surface that is also going to be a surface all right. So, um, so uh, 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 which is which is holomorphic C 
since it is the transition function uh, for the pair of charts uh, the pair uh, uh, v comma phi and v prime comma phi prime uh, which are compatible okay. So the moral of the story is that uh, all the charts that we are going to get they are going to give you uh, they are all going to be compatible and um, mm, therefore x tilde will get a Riemann surface structure which I will call as x, x tilde sub hole okay. Thus, thus x tilde gets a Riemann surface structure which I will call as x tilde sub hole okay alright. Now uh, so you see what has happened is that the Riemann surface structure below has been transported to the to a Riemann surface structure above and that has been done by this uh, uh, that has been done by this uh, uh, map because it is a local homeomorphism and I I, I do not think I am even using that it is a covering alright. Uh, the only thing I need is that it is a it is a local homeomorphism alright. Now once you do this you see the beautiful thing that happens is once you do this uh, so you can think of P as a uh, as a local homeomorphism it is a it is a map from x tilde hole to x hole and then the beautiful thing is that P becomes holomorphic okay. But you see if it is holomorphic and locally homeomorphic that means it is locally it is holomorphic and locally injective and open okay. In fact it is holomorphic and locally injective okay but you know injective holomorphic map is open and injective holomorphic map is open and it is biholomorphic. So what will happen is that P will not only become holomorphic it will become locally biholomorphic. So the local homeomorphic the, ho the P becoming the P being a local homeomorphism that property will immediately give you that P is a local biholomorphism okay and uh, therefore what happens is that if you give me an admissible neighborhood below okay then not to the, then of course the uh, you take the inverse image of this admissible neighborhood you it is going to break down into neighborhoods above okay open sets above such that P restricted to that is not only going to be a local it is not, not only going to be a homeomorphism it will actually be a holomorphic isomorphism it will be a biholomorphic map okay. So what will happen is that this whole covering will become completely a covering in the holomorphic sense okay. So uh, just because uh, the 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 fellow here, the base space here is is a Riemann surface. Okay, so that's what I want to uh, I want to uh, stress upon. So uh, with this, with with this, uh, with this uh, 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 Riemann surface structure, uh, P from x tilde hole to x hole becomes holomorphic okay why does it become holomorphic okay what uh, how do you check that you see normally you know if you if you give me uh, 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 you know um, let me use y1 and y2 uh, suppose they are Riemann surfaces okay and f is a map uh, from y1 to y2 when do you say that f is holomorphic okay uh, the method is that what you do is that you check f is holomorphic at each point so first, first of all f has to be continuous okay so uh, so uh, y1 comma y2 Riemann surfaces uh, uh, f continuous map uh, f is holomorphic if uh, it is uh, holomorphic on a cover of uh, y1 okay uh, to check you, you know to check properties like continuity uh, differentiability etc uh, nice properties you it is enough to check them on a cover okay if you want to check them on the whole space all right. So if I want to check a map is holomorphic I can check it uh, uh, check that it is holomorphic with respect to an open covering and what covering do I take I take the covering of charts okay I take a chart here I take a chart there okay uh, and I check and how do I check well uh, uh, you can even check it point wise okay 
So, you know if y1 is a point of y, uh, y1 and if it goes to a point y2 which is f of y1 okay uh, uh, for example to check uh, f is holomorphic at y1 what do you do? Well you do the following thing uh, you take you take a charge centered at y2 okay let uh, 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 let us say v2 comma phi2 be a chart centered at uh, a chart let me say when I say centered I mean containing a chart at uh, uh, chart at y2 for the Riemann surface below alright uh, and uh, uh, consider a chart a chart uh, v1 comma phi1 with uh, uh, you know f of v1 going into v2 okay. Uh, so I can I can do this you see v2 uh, is a is an open set which contains y2 by continuity I must be able to find an open set v1 of of uh, of y1 which goes into y2 that is just because of continuity okay and then I I I, I can I can it can be um, it will have a there will be a chart if you um, uh, maybe I may have to shrink uh, y1 if necessary so that I get a chart okay. So, once you have once you fix this how do you check that uh, the map f is holomorphic uh, so uh, uh, what you do is you do the following thing so you have you know you have uh, you have y1 here which is sitting inside v1 uh, which is sub which is an open sub of uh, uh, of y1 and uh, uh, f is going to go from y1 to y2 it is going to take v1 to uh, uh, v2 okay. Uh, this also open and this contains uh, y2 okay. Now you see from v1 uh, there is the chart phi1 okay. So what is going to happen is from v1 to uh, uh, so you have phi1 uh, which uh, is a homeomorphism on to uh, uh, phi, phi1 of v1 which is an open subset of uh, the complex plane okay and uh, well uh, from v2 to you know uh, phi 2 of v2 uh, you have this phi 2 which is a homeomorphism uh, onto phi 2 of v2 which is an open subset of the complex plane okay and now what you do is you go like this namely you apply phi 1 inverse okay then apply f and then apply phi 2 okay this will give me a function from an open subset of the complex plane to another open subset of the complex plane and all I have to do is I will have to check that this function is uh, is holomorphic if I want to check f restricted to v1 is holomorphic I have to check that this function is holomorphic that is the definition okay and if I want to check f is holomorphic at y1 I will have to check that this function is holomorphic at the point that y1 goes to here okay. So let me write that f is holomorphic uh, uh, if and only if uh, phi 2 circle f circle phi 1 inverse is holomorphic okay this is the definition this is the definition of a map uh, uh, being holomorphic okay you check the holomorphicity in terms of local coordinates local charts all right. Now play this game with uh, uh, with this situation and you will see it is very trivial okay uh, let us play this game with uh, uh, let us play this game with that with that so what is happening is uh, you see I have I have this uh, shaded neighborhood uh, so let me let me redraw that diagram there so you see I have this shaded neighborhood above okay and uh, this shaded neighborhood is just uh, 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 so let me uh, you know uh, so this shaded neighborhood is uh, u I guess u tilde uh, 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 p restricted to u tilde inverse of v uh, intersection u okay and then uh, there is this map p from that into the space below uh, into the open set below and uh, this open set below is just uh, v intersection u alright and 
from here I uh, and, and from here I have the uh, I have uh, phi which is the which is the chart below v comma phi is the chart below all right and it is going to take v intersection u to phi of v intersection u which is uh, which is of course uh, an open subset of the complex plane okay uh, and this is a homeomorphism okay and uh, on the other hand what is the chart here the chart here is nothing but I mean the chart here is actually this followed by this okay. So the chart is here is just uh, if you look at uh, this definition uh, it is phi followed by p okay. So the chart above is phi phi uh, p followed by phi okay and uh, what is its image its image is the same thing you apply p first to this uh, to this uh, shaded piece it will go to this shaded piece and then apply phi you will get this. So what I will get here is again phi of uh, phi intersection u okay and if I write out this map as I have written, writ, write, written it out here you know <laughs> this map will just be the identity map okay this map will just be the identity map because it will be uh, if you go by this uh, definition it is it this map is going to be uh, uh, what is this map this is going to be phi circle p inverse followed by p and then followed by phi by by this definition okay and what is this this is exactly identity so this is just identity map okay and the identity map is of course holomorphic okay so trivially uh, uh, trivially uh, the projection the map p becomes holomorphic okay so it is just uh, I mean without no extra effort it just comes just like that okay. So you so the model of the story is therefore uh, p is a holomorphic map okay so it is very very clear. So uh, uh, identity map uh, on any uh, open subset of C being holomorphic p restricted to uh, this uh, uh, this uh, 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 this set uh, let me call this as uh, uh, or let me write it in words p e, uh, from uh, the shaded region is holomorphic okay all right so uh, but i can cover uh, the space above by such shaded regions so p will be holomorphic for holomorphic everywhere okay to check something is holomorphic i have to check only on a cover okay so uh, p restricted to the shaded region is holomorphic and uh, uh, and that will imply that p is uh, holomorphic in fact what i'll tell you is uh, its p is locally holomorphic okay if a if a if a if a global map is locally holomorphic then it is holomorphic okay because that is uh, uh, i mean that is uh, one of the good properties of uh, 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 i mean uh, in fact uh, that's how good properties will behave okay uh, to say some to say to check something is continuous you check it's locally continuous okay to check that a map is continuous you check it's locally continuous okay and uh, the same thing holds for uh, something being holomorphic okay uh, holomorphicity is a good property you can check it on an open cover right. So um, okay so now uh, so what is the upshot the upshot of this is that now since an injective holomorphic map is all is is, is a biholomorphic map what this will tell you is that this is actually uh, locally biholomorphic okay okay and therefore uh, this is actually a covering in the holomorphic sense okay all right which means you take any admissible neighborhood below uh, the inverse image will break down into a disjoint union of open sets not only restricted to which p is a homeomorphism it will actually be a holomorphic isomorphism namely it will become a restricted to each of these pieces above p will actually be a biholomorphic map. So it is completely uh, in the holomorphic category so you get so you get a holomorphic covering right this becomes a holomorphic covering okay 
So, let me write that down uh, thus P from uh, x hole sub tilde to x sub hole um, is uh, is holomorphic and uh, P being locally injective okay because it is local homeomorphism P is locally injective we get it is uh, also locally biholomorphic which means locally a holomorphic isomorphism okay P was in the topological case P was only locally a topological isomorphism topological isomorphism namely a homeomorphism. Now everything has transferred to the holomorphic category. So what has happened is that P is locally even a holomorphic isomorphism which is what we call as a biholomorphic map okay. So uh, it's also locally biholomorphic. Thus, uh, P from x hole tilde to x hole becomes a holomorphic domain. Okay. Okay. Now. Uh, what I want to say next is that um, I want to say that the uh, uh, um, okay. So I want to say the following thing. I want to say that you see. Uh, I want to say that any other Riemann surface structure on X tilde that makes P into a holomorphic map has to be none other than this one. So what I am saying is that you cannot get another holomorphic structure on X tilde that converts it into a Riemann surface in another way which is not the same as this. So there is this rigidity I mean the uh, under this uh, if you want P to be holomorphic okay then there is only one Riemann surface structure on the covering okay it is unique okay that is what I am going to prove right. So, uh, so claim uh, if uh, x whole let me put prime is another Riemann surface structure on x tilde sub x tilde such that such that uh, p from that structure uh, x tilde sub whole prime to x whole is also holomorphic then I am right I will I will put then they are then x tilde whole prime has to be equal to x whole prime tilde okay. In other words there is only one Riemann surface structure on x tilde which makes p holomorphic there is only one there is a unique Riemann surface structure on X tilde that makes P holomorphic okay. In other words there is a unique one and only one Riemann surface structure on X tilde that makes P holomorphic. Okay. So, this is the uniqueness of the Riemann surface structure that you get above. So, you see when you take a covering uh, topological covering if the base space has a Riemann surface structure that dictates the Riemann surface structure on the cover. Okay. So, that is the uh, that is this, that is what happens. Okay. So, how does we how does one see this. Uh, so, one sees this as follows. So, uh, to see this uh, I just uh, uh, again let me uh, write down a simple exercise uh, yeah. 
So, so uh, I will make an observation. Uh, let y be a Riemann surface. Let y be a Riemann surface. Okay. Let y be a Riemann surface. So that means uh, uh, y is given with a maximal atlas. Okay. Of consisting of uh, all possible compatible charts, collection of compatible charts. Okay. Uh, ye, ye chart uh, uh, u comma phi uh, uh, where uh, u in y is an open set uh, uh, is uh, in uh, the Riemann surface structure <coughs> that is belongs to the maximal atlas that contains all uh, possible mutually compatible charts. <coughs> Okay. So, I have a Riemann surface and I have a chart. The question is when is this chart in that uh, in that Riemann surface in the in the maximum in that Riemann surface means in the maximum atlas defined by the Riemann surface and I am saying the condition is just phi has to be holomorphic. Okay. Then um, So, I have not completed my statement a chart u comma phi where v where u in y is open is in the Riemann surface structure if and only if phi from u to phi of u uh, which is an open subset of uh, C but this is a homeomorphism okay, is holomorphic. So, this is my remark this is my remark. So, please try to understand what I am saying I am saying y is Riemann surface. All right. U is an open subset of the Riemann surface, and phi is just a homeomorphism of U into an open subset of the complex plane. Okay. When will this also be compatible with every chart uh, uh, that defines the Riemann surface structure on Y? That is the question. I am saying that that will happen if and only if this phi itself is holomorphic. Okay. So. Uh, uh, if you if you remember i told you that uh, one way is uh, i told you why one way is very easy okay uh, so what is the proof for this the proof for this is if uh, u comma phi uh, uh, is uh, in the maximal atlas for uh, y then uh, clearly is holomorphic okay because if you remember i told you uh, long back uh, in one of the earlier lectures that you see how do we define a riemann surface we first define a riemann surface by giving a cover by charts and uh, the charts are only homeomorphisms of open subsets of the surface into the complex plane the only condition you put is that the transition functions are going to be holomorphic Okay. But then I told you once you have defined the Riemann surface structure then the, the, the coordinate map given by each chart that itself becomes holomorphic. Okay. So, if u comma phi is in, is in a chart is in this maximal atlas then clearly phi is going to be holomorphic I will have to prove the other way around. Okay. Uh, so, I hope you have already done this exercise all right. Uh, uh, conversely, suppose phi is holomorphic. Okay, conversely, suppose phi is holomorphic. I'll have to only check that uh, u comma phi is compatible with every other chart that intersects it. Okay, so we only have to check to check that u comma phi is compatible 
with every other chart every chart u prime comma phi prime in the atlas in the maximal atlas for uh, y okay. In fact you need not check with a maximal atlas you can check with a, an atlas which consists of uh, uh, a covering okay. Uh, so uh, why is that so you can easily check it. So let me so let me write that down. Uh, so you have uh, uh, so you have the situation. The situation is like this: you are on y, okay, and uh, there is this uh, u, and there is a phi, which is a homeomorphism into phi of u, which is open, uh, which is an open subset of the complex plane, okay. And there is uh, you are given another uh, u prime, uh, which is also an open subset, and a map uh, phi prime, which is uh, homeomorphism onto phi prime of u prime, which is again uh, an open subset, uh, open subset of the complex plane. Okay, and how do I? Uh, uh, what is the compatibility of u comma phi with u prime comma phi prime? I'll have to take this intersection. Okay, and I will have to write out the transition function and say that that is holomorphic that is my condition. So what is the transition function? So the transition function is going to be like this. So this is going to go to phi of uh, 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 u intersection u prime and here it is going to go to uh, phi of phi prime of u intersection u prime okay. and my transition function is going to go like this. What is the transition function? It is just apply phi inverse and then apply phi prime this is my transition function and when are these two charts compatible when this is holomorphic when this is holomorphic so that is what I have to check I have to check this is holomorphic but what is given to me what is given to me is that phi is holomorphic okay so phi is holomorphic uh, therefore phi inverse is also holomorphic okay uh, phi is holomorphic and phi is injective so it is biholomorphic so the inverse is also holomorphic so the so this is holomorphic and phi prime is holomorphic because u prime comma phi prime is already in the atlas anything in the you take any chart in the atlas the coordinate map for that chart is holomorphic so phi prime is all also holomorphic therefore this composition is holomorphic so I have checked the compatibility alright. So uh, phi holomorphic implies phi inverse holomorphic uh, u prime comma phi prime uh, uh, in the atlas the atlas for y implies phi phi prime is holomorphic so phi prime circle phi inverse is holomorphic okay so this completes the uh, proof of this claim all right so uh, let me again sum up this observation to check that uh, a chart uh, belongs to a Riemann surface structure all you have to check is that the coordinate map of the chart is holomorphic nothing else okay. Now keep that in mind and I will tell you uh, 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 I will tell you why uh, there is only one uh, Riemann surface structure on x on x tilde that makes p holomorphic so um, uh, let me run this I hope I will not need it again but okay. So so, so, um, so now let us apply this observation to uh, let us apl apply this observation to this map. So what is given is uh, um, uh, um, yeah so you see uh, uh, coming back to our situation so I have see I have x tilde whole uh, to x hole this is p this is the this is already holomorphic all right and what is given is that there is a x hole prime this is another Riemann surface structure on x tilde and then this is also holomorphic okay. Now 
what I am going to do is I am just going to take the identity map okay take the identity map this diagram commutes okay because this is just identity followed by p is just p set theoretically okay just take the identity map of x tilde the identity map on x tilde is of course uh, uh, it is of course a homeomorphism no doubt about that okay uh, the point I want to make is that this identity map on x tilde is uh, is locally biholomorphic that is because you see this is locally biholomorphic and this is also locally biholomorphic. So, you know uh, I can I can go from a neighborhood here to a, an isomorphic holomorphically isomorphic neighborhood here and then I can go to uh, uh, go back to the same neighborhood under this map okay. So, what this will tell you p uh, both these p's being uh, 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 locally biholomorphic okay will tell you that the identity map on x tilde is locally biholomorphic okay that means it is uh, that means identity map itself is holomorphic okay I told you if the if a map is locally holomorphic then it is holomorphic okay. So, uh, uh, p being uh, locally biholomorphic implies that the identity map on x tilde is uh, uh, is uh, uh, biholomorphic okay. So, uh, is is biholomorphic uh, uh, and in fact in uh, I mean in fact it is a it gives you a holomorphic isomorphism from this to that okay uh, that is gives a holomorphic isomorphism from x tilde hole to x tilde hole prime all right. Now, uh, this should tell you that these two are the same if you have any uh, doubt you just have to you just have to apply the apply this. So, what I will do is uh, let me take any chart there and tell you it is already here okay see if if uh, 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 let me say w tilde comma phi tilde is a chart is a chart in the atlas for uh, this guy x tilde whole prime then uh, uh, you see uh, w then then phi tilde from considered as a map from w tilde considered as an open subset of uh, x tilde whole okay uh, to uh, phi tilde of w tilde is also holomorphic okay why because you see what is happening is you have x tilde hole and I have my w tilde okay then I have this identity map on x tilde which is holomorphic and that will carry uh, w tilde back to itself as an open subset of x tilde whole prime okay and of course uh, since uh, phi phi tilde uh, is uh, is a is a coordinate map for a chart which is in x tilde whole prime this map this is phi tilde into uh, phi tilde of u, uh, w tilde this is holomorphic okay this map is holomorphic that is because uh, phi tilde the uh, w tilde comma phi tilde is in the uh, is a chart for uh, x tilde whole prime okay. So, this map is holomorphic this map is just the identity map and we have checked that is already holomorphic okay and sir so therefore, the composition okay the composition is just phi tilde considered as a map from w tilde as an open subset of x tilde whole okay that is also holomorphic and therefore, by this observation you get that the, the this chart is also in x tilde hole okay. So, you see uh, so this implies that uh, w tilde comma phi tilde uh, is in is in the atlas the atlas for 
x tilde sub whole okay. So, uh, the moral of the story is that these two are actually equal okay they have the same atlas maximal atlas okay. So, therefore, uh, the covering space of a Riemann surface inherits a unique Riemann surface structure such that the covering projection is a holomorphic uh, map and the whole projection uh, becomes a holomorphic covering okay. So, that is the whole point and uh, mind you uh, all this uh, started with just taking a topological covering and making the assumption that the, uh, the base of the covering has a Riemann surface structure okay all right. So, that is what I want to uh, emphasize. Okay, so uh, I just want to uh, also uh, make a couple of remarks to tell you that uh, everything is really happening in the holomorphic category. Okay, so if you remember, uh, this is connected to uh, in the when we were looking at the topological theory of coverings, there was this uh, unique lifting property. Okay, unique path lifting property. Okay, and uh, we also had this identification as of the uh, the fundamental group of the base space with uh, a subgroup of uh, homeomorphisms of the universal covering okay. Now, I just want to say that all this will happen in the holomorphic category okay. So, let, let me explain how this happens. Uh, uh, so, uh, suppose uh, suppose I start with uh, uh, a covering map which is a holomorphic covering okay. So, suppose uh, uh, P from x tilde sub hole to x sub hole is a holomorphic covering okay. So, a situation is like this uhhh uh, so I have x tilde I have p I have x uhhh this is this is holomorphic this is also holomorphic that means these are Riemann surfaces and uh, of course p is a covering projection okay. Now, if y uh, is another Riemann surface okay uhhh and Suppose from y to x hole I have a map f which is uh, a holomorphic map okay. So, suppose suppose y suppose f from y to x hole is a holomorphic map from a Riemann surface uh, y. Okay. Now, assume that uh, there is a lifting. Assume that there is a lifting f tilde. Okay, namely this diagram commutes. But assume that f tilde is only a continuous lifting. Okay. Okay. Assume f has a lifting f tilde, which is which is only continuous. So, you uh, look at what is happening uh, I have a holomorphic map of Riemann surfaces and it is it is liftable to a continuous map to the covering space. Then what happens is f tilde automatically becomes holomorphic okay. The reason is because f tilde uh, can be locally it is f followed by an inverse for p and p is locally by holomorphic okay. So, locally f tilde is holomorphic that is just because locally I can invert p and the inverse of p is also holomorphic. So, the moral, moral of the story is if you get a continuous lifting for a holomorphic map it is automatically holomorphic. So, it also comes into the holomorphic category okay that is the point. So, then since p is holomorphic is locally uh, by holomorphic f tilde also becomes holomorphic. Holomorphic. Okay, so you know if you want to lift a holomorphic map, it's enough to lift it only to a continuous map. The lift will automatically become holomorphic. Okay, you get that for free. That's just because p is locally by holomorphic. Okay, that's one remark. Now, what is the advantage of this remark? The advantage of this remark is that if you take the universal cover, then the deck transformation group, which was uh, 
identified as a subgroup of homeomorphic automorphisms of the universal cover will now be identifiable as a subgroup of holomorphic automorphisms of the universal cover given the natural holomorphic structure the unique holomorphic structure that comes from below okay right so uh, in particular uh, you see uh, uh, take a deck transformation um, uh, so uh, so you know uh, take a deck, deck transformation phi uh, so i have uh, i have x i have x sub unit okay and this is the universal cover okay all right uh, take take a deck transformation phi corresponding to corresponding to uh, 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 the universal covering of the Riemann surface x okay. So, uh, what is it? So, so x is a Riemann surface. So, I will write as x sub whole all right x sub univ is universal cover that also gets a uh, unique Riemann surface structure. So, that this becomes a holomorphic covering and now you see what is a deck transformation. See it is actually a lift of p which is a homeomorphism. So, it is again a map from x to uh, uh, x sub univ okay, which has a holomorphic structure and it is it is a map like this phi such that this diagram commutes and phi is a homeomorphism. Okay, what is a deck transformation? A deck, a deck transformation is just a homeomorphism of the universal covering which respects the projection. Okay. So, it is a lift of p, okay. but it is it is a homeomorphism so it is continuous and I told you that since everything involved here is holomorphic this phi automatically becomes holomorphic okay. and a holomorphic homeomorphism is a biholomorphic map. Therefore, what happens is that phi is not only an automorphism of the topological space underlying the universal cover it is also a holomorphic automorphism of the Riemann unique Riemann surface structure that you get on this universal covering space that is the whole point okay. So, uh, uh, then phi is an automorphism a holomorphic automorphism of x sub univ whole okay. So, the, the moral of the story is uh, if you take the universal covering of a Riemann surface all right then the deck transformation group which is the fundamental group uh, which is cannot which is identifiable with the uh, identifiable with the fundamental group of the uh, topological space below actually becomes a subgroup of the holomorphic automorphisms of the universal covering with the universal covering being given the natural uh, one and only holomorphic structure that makes p the covering map into a holomorphic map okay so uh, i mean these two remarks should tell you that we are completely in the holomorphic category okay so uh, so that's why i am saying that this is a complete theory of holomorphic coverings okay so that's uh, that's what i wanted to emphasize yeah so i'll stop here